U.S. Breaking News, Change Your Read Newspaper Habit. May 25, Reuters, a founder of the hedge fund firm Platinum Partners pleaded guilty on Friday to a criminal conspiracy charge. Six months after a mistrial in a corruption case against him and a former New York City labor leader, Murray Huberfeld, 57, of Lawrence, New York, entered his plea before U.S. District Judge Alvin Hellerstein in Manhattan. The plea followed jurors' deadlock last November 16 on fraud and conspiracy charges against Huberfeld and Norman Seabrook, who led the Correction Officers Benevolent Association. The largest U.S. municipal jail union, for more than two decades. Prosecutors accused Seabrook of accepting a $60,000 kickback from Huberfeld in exchange for steering $20 million of union money to invest with Platinum. They said Huberfeld used a fake invoice to disguise the payment as being for tickets for courtside seats at New York Knicks basketball games. The payment was made through former real estate developer Jonah Recknitz who testified for several days against Huberfeld and Seabrook on behalf of the U.S. Attorney's Office in Manhattan, which handles many municipal corruption cases. Huberfeld faces a possible 6-12 to 12 month prison term at his September 14 sentencing. His plea agreement does not require his cooperation with prosecutors in their case against Seabrook. Murray Huberfeld is ready to put this chapter behind him and looks forward to returning to his friends and family who know Murray as a man of high character and most generous heart. His lawyer Henry Mazurek said in an email. Seabrook is preparing for his July 33 trial, his lawyer Paul Schechtman said in a phone interview. At the first trial we argued that the $60,000 payment to Mr. Recknitz was inappropriate, so I'm not surprised by today's plea, Schechtman said. I respect Mr. Huberfeld greatly for admitting what he did, and for not admitting what he didn't do. Implicit in this plea is that he did not pay a bribe to Norman Seabrook. Mizurek and Schechtman had assailed Regnitz's credibility at the trial, highlighting his admitted history of dishonest dealings with city officials. Regnitz also testified that he had close ties to New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio, for whom he raised money. The mayor has repeatedly denied that Recknitz had any corrupt influence, and has not been accused of wrongdoing. Platinum began closing its funds after Huberfeld's arrest in June 2016. Six months later, prosecutors charged another Platinum founder, Mark Nordlicht, and six others in a $1 billion case over two alleged fraud schemes. Nordlicht and the other defendants have pleaded not guilty. The case is U.S. v. Seabrook et al., U.S. District Court, Southern District of New York, No. 16 CR00467. Reporting by Jonathan Stemple in Toronto, editing by Tom Brown.